My Canadian gloves are coming off and the bitch gloves are coming on. I'm so angry that I had to put Carolans in my coffee. I had to take a couple of days to calm down before I did this video. So go grab your cup of coffee. This is going to be a wild ride. Okay, so some of you may have seen a few videos that are out there or seen comments in lives about some stuff that's going on in the YouTube streets. Um, you know what? I, I don't even know how to start this video, to be honest. I, um... Ugh. For any, for all of you that have been around for a while, um, you know that I wear my heart on my sleeve and that I, I'm a no bullshit zone kind of person. Um, and that when something really bugs me, I tell, tell you guys and I, I don't sugarcoat it. I don't sugarcoat it. And this is one of those instances. Um, there's something I want to explain to you, all of you out there that are not content creators. Okay. There's a lot of crap that goes on behind the scenes. We don't talk about it. We try to ignore it. We may mention something on our channels about it, but then we kind of let it go. We try to bring positivity to our channels as much as we can, but you know, some life stuff gets in the way sometimes and we need to talk about it. And we believe that you guys are all of our friends. But what you don't see is all of the nastiness that goes on on the YouTube streets in our community behind the scenes. Um, and it's not, not just the Yarny community. It's all over YouTube. But I'm just going to talk about the Yarny community. Okay. There is a lot of using and abusing and games and bullying that go on. Now this stuff all happens in private lives, on Zoom chats, on StreamYard chats that you guys don't see. Okay. <clears throat> And every once in a while, a video will come up or a YouTuber will say something, slip up and say something, and then people take notice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> okay. I have talked to George about this video. I've talked to, <clears throat> excuse me, a few people about doing this video. And I'm going to tell you right now that this video could get nasty. I'm going to tell you how I feel about things. Um, and <clears throat> I, I am willing to fall on my sword so to speak, to stand up and talk about this. And if I get negative comments or I get hate mail or I get any of that crap, so be it. If my channel goes down the tubes because of it, so be it. I am willing to take that risk because I am sick 
and tired of the bullshit that is going on. Yes, there may be swearing in this video, and I am sorry if that offends you, but if I had done this video yesterday, oh man, that would have been a whole other story. Like, I probably would have been, like, flagged all over the place on YouTube. Um, I, you know, I, I don't understand why there are some people out there that have a, they, they just, they want to hurt people. They want to, um, say things, do things to YouTube content creators that is, it's not right. You know, whether it's, <clears throat> excuse me, whether it's sending a letter to a content creator lying and saying that they've got this disease, that disease, they're bedridden, they can't go out yarn shopping, blah, blah. And can you please send me yarn? Um, or make us feel sorry for them only to find out after we've sent the package that that wasn't the case and that they have done this to a lot of other YouTubers got caught in that a couple years ago. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that goes on. And then there's other content creators that will blatantly in their lives, call out another YouTuber and attack that YouTuber on video. Um, I am being told stories uh, that are just not only make me angry, they're horrific. They really are. Um, you know, like, Give your head a shake. Like, seriously. Like, oh my God. Anyway. So, what's got me so riled up this time is that Angela from My Precious Yarnery sent out a package to a content creator. And this content creator has bought from Angela before and had no problems. Um, and then did a video when she got the package, raved about Angela, raved about how soft the yarn was and the color and how she did such a great job. And when she took it out of the bag, it was tangled and she said some crap that it just went from, you know, building Angela up and then pulling the damn rug out from under her and then saying a bunch of crap about her. Um, now, if anybody's worked with a hank of yarn, they know if you untang, if you undo that hank and you cut those clips if you don't hold it the right way and get it on a swift right away you're screwed right um that's just no that's why i don't buy hanks i i just can't deal with that now angela she's been sending out her yarn unhanked so that she can vacuum seal it and try and ship it cheaper. She's trying to find a way to have people save some money with shipping because shipping in Canada is atrocious. Um, with Canada, we don't, I just found this out and I was going to do a video on it because of the stuff that I'm, I have to send out in Canada. We don't have a choice on our, our, how much our shipping is because if we're shipping across Canada, then it has to have a tracking number, which is double the price of what it would cost normally. If we're shipping down to the States, 
the states doesn't have uh it gives you the option to have tracking or not tracking right so but it costs more to have it tracked okay also you got to remember if you have one item that is shipping for ten dollars and you buy two items that's twice the shipping automatic you know and you have to convert that from canadian to us to find out what the shipping really is um that's just common sense you know and then this person said why didn't you ship it in two different packages why would you do that you're going to be paying even more in shipping that makes no sense to me whatsoever to send the same person two packages. Like, I, I don't get it anyway. So not only was she attacked because, um, because the, she unhanked the yarn, uh, and sent it unhanked trying to save on cost. She was also attacked because our, because our shipping is atrocious. That's not our fault. Okay. Um, she's doing the best she can to try and save money for her customers and for her, her YouTube community. Um, you know, and I'm not just saying this because Angela is my friend. This goes for every YouTuber out there that is trying to sell their product to their fans, to their subscribers, to their, you know, their Yarny family, to their YouTube family. You know, we always try to make sure that you guys are getting a good product at a good price. And it's hard when you've got government stuff that's, making it hard, hard on us. They, they make all the bloody rules and we have nothing, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay. What really pisses me off about this is how the video was the little meme things that she put up. She put up one saying, thanks for nothing. Excuse me? The minute that she put this video up, Angela went and contacted her right away and gave her her money back. Full refund. It wasn't until after uh, that she got a big blowback from uh, the, this woman got a big blowback on her channel uh, for how this video was. People were pissed, right? It wasn't until after that that she put a little disclaimer that nobody is going to see that said, oh, well, I got a full refund. All's good. No, it's not all good. You know, Angela is hurt beyond belief. This should have been done in private. This girl had the option of pushing that button to upload or not upload. If she had have seen a problem with the package when she was undoing the package, she should have stopped the video and she should have contacted Angela right away and dealt with it. And then started the video again and explained what happened and told everybody that she got a full refund and that Angela, you know, handled it the way she could, you know, like, but no, she didn't do that, you know, and that, that, anyway, so that made me angry. Um, there are comments on that video saying that people like me that are speaking out are bullying, you know, and I'm like, no, we're standing up and we're not taking that crap, right? We're not bullies, you know, we, 
we, we need to protect ourselves and we need to talk about this stuff. You know, there are other people that have said, you know, she had a right to her opinion about the product that she bought and that she had the right to talk about it on her channel as her opinion, right? That's all good. I totally get that, you know, but to blatantly attack somebody like that, she could have handled that so much better, so much better. You know, um, if I, if, if I open up a product and shit goes sideways, I'm not going to upload that video. I'm going to contact the person and I'm going to tell them, look, this is what happened and you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to tell, tell my viewers, this is what happened. They had great customer service. They refunded my money. You know, I, I, I will buy from them again. Um, this was just a little blip in the road, you know, but for her to do what she did, was wrong it was wrong um not only could that hurt angela's channel by not giving all the details um there are a lot of implications here and it, it, it let me talk let me say this okay <sighs> when when these people out there go after YouTubers, go after like, and, and talk crap about them and say nastiness and get other people like their little congregation there. Uh, it's like a little freaking cult of, of people that are all like-minded and they go out and they start attacking people on YouTube and using them and, you know, trying to get something for nothing and playing the game. They don't know who they're talking to. They don't know. They just see the face in front of the camera. They don't see what's going on behind that face. That person could have mental issues. That person could be suicidal. That person could have physical issues that could cause them harm. Okay. In Angela's case, and she's talked about this on her channel multiple times, she gets seizures. If she gets too worked up, if she gets too stressed out, she will have a seizure. Those seizures could kill her. And this is what they did. They came at her. And this person is not the only one that has come after Angela. There is a bunch of them that all talk together and all do their, their lives together. And they, they have targeted Angela there was somebody else that was targeted before Angela and somebody else before that, you know, it's like they make their way around and Angela got targeted before, then they moved on to somebody else and now they're back to Angela again. And I'll tell you this, if anything happens to Angela and she has a seizure and she's in the hospital, what these people don't understand is that there are legal implications that could come their way. They can be legally charged with a lot of things like bullying and slander and all this stuff. And if they go after someone that, you know, on camera... You know, we're all happy, happy, joy, joy. Yay, let's do crochet. Let's do, you know, let's make this project. And when they push that button and they're back in their real world, there's a whole other thing that goes on that, that you guys don't know about. 
And if that person that they go after is suicidal and they take their life because of something that they said, gee, what do you think the legal implications of that is? I, I am so disgusted and so enraged about what is going on in the YouTube streets. There is no place in this community for that garbage. None. You know, but yet it's constantly happening and our subscribers don't hear about it. We suffer in silence and we deal with it ourselves. And I'm tired of it. Us as YouTubers and content creators need to stand up. We, we talk the talk and we're not walking the walk, damn it. You know, we sit there and say, you know, we do hat not hate. And we don't believe in bullying. And we, you know, we support, you know, telling our kids not to. I wrote a, I don't even have it here. I wrote a damn book, a children's book about bullying. You know, and we're telling our kids, you know, stand up to your bully. Go tell someone if you're being bullied. Call that person out. You know, if, if that person's bullying you, you go tell them who it is. You know, why aren't we doing that? Because we're an adult? Bullshit. You know, we're getting just as bullied. You know, and our bullying, like, there are so many kids that are dying because of bullies. There are so many kids that are taking their lives that it's like, it just rips me apart to think about it. But guess what? It's not just kids. It's adults, you know? And the thing is, is that you won't even know it happened because one day they'll be on a video the next day they'll be gone and never heard of again. And you won't know why. You won't know what happened unless somebody, another YouTuber, gets on and tells you, you know. But this has got to stop. This has got to freaking stop. You know, like, I can't be the only one that feels this way. You know, I can't be the only one that puts myself out there and and talks about this. You know, please, please, you know, if you're a content creator, we need to talk about this. We need to, we need to, we need to deal with this. We can't sweep it under the rug, you know, because there, there's, there's some some shady shit that's going on and it's not right you know and if if we're sitting there saying that we and, and that's another thing some of these people that are being bullies and some of these and 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 attacking people guess what they're saying we do hat not hate you know how can we possibly be a bully i'm sorry but if Hat Not Hate knew what you guys are doing on the YouTube streets, they wouldn't accept your crap. They would not. They, they'd say, you take your hats and shove it. We don't No, We're not dealing with that. You know, guess what? There's a there's some wolves in the mists here. You know, it's 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 garbage. It's garbage. And it's got to stop. You know, so. If you're a you, content creator out there, you know, stand with me and let's fight this. You know, go to these people's channels, hit that button saying that, you know, the report button saying that these people are bullying, harassing, um, scamming, whatever it might be. Um, and give them as many, you know, unlikes as possible. Let's get them off the YouTube streets because th there's no, 
no no room for this this community we're supposed to be happy we're supposed to be enjoying our craft not fighting all of this crap that's going on you know angela has been a phenomenal person she has given a lot she does a lot of giveaways you know and she's got a big heart and it pisses me off that there are people out there that will take advantage of that you know there's a lot of youtubers out there that are getting used and and hurt by things that are being said you know crystal from bag of days one of them I, I know i keep bringing up crystal from bag of day and jennifer from cinnamon stitches because they're some of the bigger channels that i know of that are dealing with this um i'm sure that there's a lot of other big channels that are dealing with it you know and like it's not right don't take advantage of us don't think for a minute that you know that you're going to get away with it because we know all of you guys out there this is a it's as big of a community as is this is it's actually a small community and we all talk so don't think you're pulling the wool over our eyes we know who you guys are you know and it's up to us to stand up and fight your crap you know and and not put up with it and by us sitting there like there's a lot of youtubers that will also tell other youtubers saying don't let them get to you don't give them what they want you know by you know getting all mad on your channel or whatever don't give them don't give them the satisfaction you know what that does that just makes them move on to another person if they know they can't get to you they're just going to move on to somebody else. That's not going to help. We need to squash this now. We need to make sure that this doesn't happen to somebody and somebody loses their life. You know, like, I, 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 it's driving me to drink. <laughs> like, I'm just, I am so enraged. I was out working yesterday, driving around, and I'll tell you, I am surprised I didn't get into a car accident because I was vibrating. I was so angry, you know, and I did not know how to put this video across, but what I, I am not just, I am not just talking to other content creators in this video. I am talking to subscribers. I'm talking to you guys, my yarny peeps, my, my yarnabees, that if you smell something funny, if you're on a live and you're hearing something that's not quite right, do your due diligence, you know, and contact another content creator and ask them you know who are these people that are doing this or you know I had somebody contact me yesterday and they said I want to know who these people are so I can unsubscribe to them or not be a part of their channels I was like oh yes yes so um, I, I, I told them a few and they automatically went over to Angela's channel, subscribed to her channel and bought yarn from her to support her. My heart soared. My heart just, I was just like, yes, that is the support that we need to do in this community. That is what we need to do. We need to squash these people that are making this community so vile, you know. Um, but, yeah. <sighs> okay. 
I've been ranting for half an hour. I think I got out everything I needed to say. And Angela is so worried about me doing this video. She doesn't want me to have any backlash. But you know what? I'm a big girl. I'm a big girl. I got big shoulders. And I will take whatever comes my way because of this video. But I am not going to stand up and take it. I just, I can't. I want to help protect my Yarny community. I want to make sure in my own little way that nobody else gets hurt. Right? I couldn't handle it if I heard that a YouTuber committed suicide because of being cyberly bullied. My heart can't take that, especially if it's one of my YouTube friends. You know, I, I'm begging you guys, you know, help me, help me squash this. Help me bring it, bring this to light, you know, um, and if, and if you guys are on a live and you hear stuff, please don't, don't put up with it. Don't put up with it. You have the, you have the power. You have the power to unsubscribe or subscribe or hit that report button. You have that power. So I beg you to use it. Okay, you guys, I love you all. I really do. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, hopefully.